when I get to the end of my row, I'm going to pull over next to my dad and stop because lunch is here. I'm very excited about that. I'm a little bit hungry. We have the best sandwiches from Lily Bean Coffee Shop in Dutton, Montana. Lily is helping with our lunches and dinners, so that's so exciting. And Steve Wall, her husband, is also helping with our harvest by driving truck and grain loads to the elevator. So once I get to the end here, I'll park. a few little birds today which makes me very happy let my header clean out a bit and then just shut it off now I'll idle my machine down turn the back off I seem to be moving backwards a little bit so I'll put my park brake in and I'll let the machine idle down for a little while all right now it's lunch time so I'm gonna grab my Kate's egg tote bag just in case I want to take any snacks back from lunch that's very important I'll let my combine down, cool down a little bit more. My dad just said I could shut it down. So open my door. Walking over to lunch now. We always have our lunch on the one side of a truck so that we have shade. For lunch, we are having croissant sandwiches and watermelon, my absolute favorite. Most delicious lunch ever. part of the field and on my last pass I thought I felt something burning I also saw a lot of pheasants which was awesome but I I on the last pass I thought I felt something burning so my dad radioed to Darcy and he's going to check it out wait actually, so I'm just going to dump in Darcy really quickly and then he's going to check it out it's never good when you smell something burning in the combine so I was a little bit concerned although I have smelled burning before where it's not been my combine but actually a different one. Have you guys moved to the real place? Yeah, we're just about to move up there right now. I got one more pass on this, and then we're done. Do you want me to park on the other side of you, Darcy, to have you look at it? I smell it again, so. Go on the other side here. Are you gonna dump first, Kate? Yeah, I just finished. Okay. Back of the truck next. I just radioed to Arvin to tell him back of the truck. You look lined up from here. It's kind of hard to tell. You want to start at the back though. Where the axles are at the back, so that's where the truck is the strongest. And and at the front, but the front's full. So you might need to come out from it a little bit. You're going over the side. Yikes. I can't hardly tell whether he was straight or not. Do you guys see anything? Austin, do you think it could be that other combine? I don't know. I thought I smelled it when you were dumping, but we might check them out. Because what I was going to say is, do you remember, so, I don't know, or Darcy, you were here, the year I smelt the burning and it wasn't my combine, it was yeah. that other belt going out. Yeah. And I think that's the second time that belt's yeah. gone out. Oh, that combine? Yeah, so I'm wondering, because yeah, he was because he was close to me, so I'm yeah. wondering if it's him. Could be. I didn't smell it when we had yeah. gone further away, yeah, but then he came back, so that's what I'm wondering. 
And I think that belt's gone out twice. Yeah, it has. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, once, no, three times this went out. Yeah. It went out that once, and then that next year it went out, that's when you had to take your dad's combine. Right. Because I smelled and then a lot it went of. Out again after that. I think Dan was running it, and I smelled a yeah. lot of burning then, only when he yeah. would make turns and it would blow to my yeah. combine. I smelt it a tiny yeah. bit in the row, but I smelt it a lot here. I'd actually kind of forgot about that. Thing. Yeah, that's immediately what I almost didn't think it was my combine, and I thought it was that one. But yeah, Arvin's doing a good job for his first day. Yeah. But that's yeah. I and I don't know that it even anything's going wrong, but um, that was just my guess. And what belt is it? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, it's a big, it's a head of dry belt. One got that clutch at the other combine. Yeah. I don't smell it at all right now, though. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Did you see anything on my combine? Stop. Stop. No, just stop. Idle it down. They're just going to check your combine because I smelt a bit of burning and this the header, some belt in it has gone out three times before and last time I smelt burning, it wasn't my combine. It was this one. So we'll just see. It, it's probably nothing. I'm, I always accidentally think of that. Uh, no, you're good. Yep, just idle down. Yeah, a little bit over there and then I smelt it again here. It's probably good though. Do you think it's good? So it looks good, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, so my, even for, yeah, for me too, this is my fourth harvest and I can't even line up properly. And just this year I figured out that you dump, so the semi trucks, you dump the very front where the axle is and then you dump the very back and then in the middle. And the tandem truck, you go back to front. So it's always so confusing to me. Are you enjoying it though? I love it. I, I know. Had, I had no idea. It's really fun. Well, when I was a kid, we didn't have this kind of Yes. You know, this, this stuff is beautiful. You're doing awesome. You might be good. Yes. Well, it was good talking to you. I think you're probably good. So it's fine? I wonder what it was then. Maybe just. Did you smell it too, though? I thought I smelled it. I wonder if a bearing's going out. Austin thought he th smelt it too. They couldn't find anything in mine, so I thought maybe it was that belt and that combine because it's gone out three times. Yeah, no, then they off, checked so. it and nothing, but I smelt it more. Like I smelt it a little bit in the past. I got a big whiff of it when I was dumping. So that's why I thought it might've been the other combine. And then I explained to him that you that's where him if he's missed the line just to shut it off yeah. and get square to I couldn't tell because from here. you can't have it at an angle tape. Yeah. Because nobody's going to figure that out. They have to get out, get square. Yeah, oh, look at the out. red crew. It was fairly faint driving down the path, and then it was a lot stronger dumping. Okay, what's the routine if you got a fire going? Um, you shut everything off. Pull out of the field. Park in a green area, somewhere where it's not going to catch. Or summer fall, right? Right. Somewhere where it's less likely to catch anything on fire. Move towards the water truck if you got time, you know. Yeah. Where did this come from? Did you run it over ever or what? No, I didn't. I don't know where that's from. So for now, we don't think anything's wrong, although we're still going to keep looking on my way. So now we are roading to our next field, and I'll just watch out for that burning smell. We don't really know what it is. My dad went around the combine and smelled all of the, kind of the areas with the bearings we've got a flying so hopefully it wasn't anything too bad and hopefully it's my combine and not that other combine with the belt because that would be a not great first day experience for arvin and then it might have just been a whiff of something burning and nothing to do with the combines although that is probably unlikely it's 2:38, so that's about what time we finish that field this is ground probably close to the furthest away we combine we do stuff around the homestead area. There's a little field road here that we're taking. It's not really a field road because it's directly diagonal, but it's the same route that all of the trucks have been taking. Ideally, you only want to drive on one part of the field because when you compact the soil, the crops don't grow as well the following years. Darcy, let us know what you see, huh? Darcy is going to play a gust. I just turned my hazards on. I'm the middle combine, my dad's taking us to the field, and then Arvin's following behind. 
Put it in third. Yeah, Irvin, we'll drive onto the road in second because they don't have enough power in third, and then in third all the way forward with that gearship lever on the right front. There are a lot of missile bases around here, so Austin just said, "Yep." Did you get third gear, Irvin? I did. Cool. These are kind of steery, so you know, be kind of careful with it till you get the feel. They're not kind of steery, they're very steery and very scary, too, if they get out of control with their steering. I mean, that first corner, about one mile is all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about how your food gets to your table. Make sure to like and subscribe. And you can visit the Kate's Egg website, katesag.com, and purchase a lovely Kate's Egg t-shirt that's made and grown in the USA, or a Kate's Egg tote bag also made in the USA. Or you can follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.